Welcome back to Blocks Custard. How are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how you can use Roblox voice chat in every game in Roblox. But before we begin with today's topic, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. While Roblox may still be recognizable to those over the age of 25 who don't have children of their own, you may not know much about the game itself. The Minecraft type concept isn't quite like this. As a metaverse, Roblox allows players to develop their own mini games with basic tools and Lua programming. Other players will be able to access and play those games as a result of the sharing. In August last year, it had more than 164 million active users and more than half of all American youngsters had played it. Roblox lacked one feature that is common in internet games, voice chat. Players only communicated with one another via text messages or pre-recorded motions and sound snippets. As you may have guessed by now, Roblox now includes voice chat, which was recently launched from beta, spatial voice chat to be exact. If we're being honest, you may brag about being a tester. That entitles you to certain bragging rights. Spatial voice chat is a function that adjusts the loudness and in certain cases, the sound of speakers based on their position in the game environment in relation to you. It's ubiquitous in simulators and realistic games like Arma 3, but a recent mod for the indie mega hit Among Us where distance modulated voice communication adds a whole new layer to the werewolf-like game, has perhaps popularized it among the masses. In Roblox, how can you enable spatial voice chat? Actually, Roblox first got its spatial voice chat implementation as a beta feature back in September. Now, the feature is open to all players with a catch. The catch is that you must be age verified. You have to enter your age when you create your Roblox account, but that's only the first step. Introduced some three weeks after voice chat entered beta, Roblox's age verification requires users to use a smartphone to take a picture of their ID card driver's license, passport, or other photo identification document, and then allow the website to access their device's camera so that it can take a selfie to determine that you're a real person and not a little kid holding their parents' photo up to the camera. The verification process is powered by Verif, a company that provides exactly these services for other organizations. Once you've verified your age and you're at least 13 years old, you'll have to find a compatible experience on Roblox to make use of the voice chat feature. Only experiences created by age-verified users can enable spatial voice chat. Enter such an experience and you'll likely see other users milling about with microphone icons next to their username. That indicates that that user is also using voice chat. Note that even if your account is already age-verified, you'll have to manually enable spatial voice chat as it is disabled by default. To do so, go to the account settings page by clicking the gear in the top right of the Roblox client, selecting settings, and then selecting the privacy tab. The toggle should turn green, indicating it's active. If you don't see the toggle, double check your account's age verification status on the account info page. Players can mute other users by clicking on the aforementioned microphone icon over the player's head, which seems like an awkward solution if said player is moving around chaotically. Mutes only apply in the current game session and won't carry over to future interactions with that player. If you'd prefer to permanently prevent someone from talking to you, simply block them as you would normally. Now, you guys can use Roblox voice chat in any game you want. This works for every game, so whichever game you join, you will be able to use it. It's pretty simple, isn't it? And it's so fun to use too, so make sure to do it if you haven't already. That is all we have for you all today. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to ask them in the comments down below, and I'd love to help you. Also, if you guys enjoyed the video, then be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, for more content like this, and much more. We will see you guys next time. Take care until then. Goodbye everyone.